Logitech has always been at the forefront of sim racing. Direct Drive is the solution that makes TrueForce fully embody what it can actually do. We wanted to raise the bar uh, in terms of performance and finally release the product that will uh, truly unleash the potential of true force. It's just incredible how much force the 11 nanometers has. If you upgrade from like the G9 to 3, it's such another experience. The fidelity that you're getting just goes off the scale. You can feel every little aspect of the car and the road surface, and it just helps you feel everything so much better and get you to drive and enjoy the experience even more and improve your lap times as well. We have a highly regarded reputation for our wheels and have done for a long time now, but the pro wheel and base was something completely new from the ground up. Some of the big improvements that we were hungry to address were just the overall quality and feel of not only the driving experience, but just the tactility of each individual object. You know, how we're even treating kind of finer details around like where we want you to actually touch products and interact with them, whether it's a, a control knob on the steering wheel or it's a knurling pattern on the compression system of the brake. The collaboration is an important aspect for everything we do with Pro. You need to have a product that the pros actually want to use. You start getting the pros and the enthusiasts involved at a pretty early level. You know, we take a lot of those ideas, we, we build them, we prototype them, and that's when the real hard work, the, the execution starts. So we develop all of those ideas along with engineering support to, to come up with something that can support these users. It was great to be involved in the development process and see all the changes that were made, but also pretty difficult because I knew the wheel was coming for a couple of years and I couldn't share my excitement with anybody. Everything that I wanted is in the wheel, so you don't need to get like a separate load cell or separate magnetic shifter. It's just all in one package. The design of the wheel is definitely no exception. We actually had dummy wheels with elements of those buttons with different layouts, different designs that you could attach and detach and slide and move around. And once you then lay that out, you get all the different positions and you end up with a position that works actually brilliantly for everyone. Even the dials down at the bottom, that slightly left brain, right brain thing where the dial on the right is facing you but the other dial is more in line with uh, spinning, that's an important thing that we tested and got feedback from the pros and the enthusiasts on. The magnetic shifters are a key component to that feel, that engagement you get when you're racing in a sim. You want to know that you've shifted gear. When you put your hands on the shifters and you feel the magnetic click of them, every touch point has the authentic material and it kind of permeates through the whole experience. It's a little bit like the difference between a mechanical keyboard and a standard keyboard. You have a, a, a much more crispy feeling with the mechanical keyboard, and it's the same with the magnetic shifters. Load cell brakes are generally considered to be the most important upgrade if you want to improve your lap times. Many, many people find that once they start getting used to it, they're knocking two, three, four or five seconds off their lap times. Within the brake system, we've got a, a load cell sensor on the brake with a, a really interesting kind of compression system where you can remove the cap and access a cavity where you use different durometer rubbers and foams to really change how much compression the brake pedal gives you. It's a material that's flexing and you're measuring the amount of compression and flex in the material as you put pressure on it. Instead of measuring a position, you're actually measuring how much force the user's pushing onto the pedals. So the load cell system's really good in terms of translating that force into a braking force inside the game. Configurability is an important part of the product for everyone. Everyone's different. We very much made sure that it's easy to change all those aspects. So a lot of the insides are 
actually on the outside, we're exposing a lot more of how this product is built with the hope that people get in there and, and change how their pedals function, how they respond to different driving styles and different preferences. Some people like the pedal spacing in a certain way. Certain rigs have big center columns in them, so it's very difficult to get your legs around. So if you can change the spacing between the pedals, it makes it a lot easier to be able to use them. With all the options you have on the screen, you can personalize like the driving style completely. How much force do you want? How much true force do you want? For some games, you don't want to break to 100%, so you can just increase the force so you break at around 80% all the time. And that made a huge difference for me, not locking up my wheels. A lot of hard work has gone into this project and we're always excited to get feedback from drivers, even up until the last minute. And that's why we've set up a session with Richard and some pro drivers from W Series and G Challenge to come and test the finished product. They're definitely going to have a lot of feedback and I can't wait to hear what they have to say. How's it feeling? It's... Yeah, like for me as a, as a real driver, it feels like almost I wouldn't say identical, but it's like 75% there. I mean, the only feeling is really the feeling of the car below you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's exactly the power replicate. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, no matter what you do. But I feel the, the feeling you get in the wheel, you know, is basically everything you can. I like the brake. It, I hit it and I was like, I didn't expect to stop so quick because it's, it's so, you have feeling behind it. It's not just a floppy thing yeah, beneath your foot. It's got that, it's got that pressure behind it. Yeah. yeah. The force feedback wheel feels really good. Uh, again, like it's just a lot more realistic. It's nice to have weight behind the steering wheel as opposed to it feeling like fresh air and like you can do a full yeah. lock when there's nothing there. Whereas this one, you actually have to put some effort into it. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, yeah, like you can feel it if you have it turned up. You can, you can start, like after a long stint, you definitely feel it. That extra stuff you're getting from the engine note and there's a bit of track noise coming through mm. the, the wheel as well. Was that something yeah. you noticed? Again, that's something that brings you closer to real life. Obviously, yeah. you don't get that through all the sim racing wheels. Yeah. You know, the emulsification of you being basically there, the noise, the feeling, everything. So I feel that's like another element that this wheel is unique. I think everybody should try to get their hands on a pro wheel and pedals because I can try to explain the experience, but at the end, you have to feel it yourself, experience it and just have fun. The feeling within Logitech now, now that we are ready to release this, is just, it, it's satisfaction. This product is amazing. It feels great. Everyone has had something to do to contribute to where we've ended up. And this now is definitely the best wheel that we have ever made at Logitech G.